everyone, my name is Patty, and today we're going to talk about air pollution in the stratosphere. So in my previous video, we discussed air pollution in the troposphere, and we do not want ozone to form in the troposphere, because in the troposphere, it acts as a respiratory irritant, it scars our lung tissue, it kills plant tissue, and it's just not a good thing. But in the stratosphere, we do want ozone to form, because it absorbs ultraviolet radiation. So, ozone absorbs ultraviolet light and is broken down into an oxygen atom and an oxygen molecule. The funny thing is that the oxygen molecule and the oxygen atom combine to form ozone. So, ozone is constantly being destroyed and reformed, and it's this process, this reaction, that absorbs the UV radiation energy. What we're concerned about is chlorofluorocarbons, also known as CFCs. They are used in refrigeration, aerosols, etc. And they have a pretty long residence time. So they're eventually going to mix into the air and wander on over to the stratosphere, where, along with ultraviolet light, they form, they react, and you get a chlorine atom. That chlorine atom is destructive because then it reacts with ozone and forms chlorine monoxide and O2. And the chlorine monoxide reacts with an oxygen atom and you get the chlorine atom again. And this chlorine atom continues breaking up ozone. The technical name for this reaction is a catalytic chain reaction, which is repeated thousands of times to destroy thousands of ozone molecules. So that chlorine atom is constantly getting put back into play and destroying ozone. In fact, one chlorine atom can destroy 100,000 ozone molecules. Okay, so why is this a bad thing? Well, the ozone hole, the effects of the ozone hole is that more UVB radiation reaches Earth's surface in large quantities. And this causes an increase in cataracts, which is the clouding of the lens, an increase in skin cancer, such as basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. And it also weakens our immune systems, so we're less able to fend off disease and infection. So how do we um, stop this? What, what can we do? Well, the 1987 Montreal Protocol phased out the production of ozone-depleting substances. And the 1990 amendments to the Clean Air Act ended U.S. production of CFCs. And it also established a recycling program where we can clean up and reuse Freon, a type of CFC, again and again. So hopefully this will help combat the ozone hole. Thank you for watching.